Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again with another video. Yes, it is Monday morning. Back to that Monday morning grind. I'm out here with my co worker, Mr. Gardner. I'm not here. Sorry. <laughs> He's not here, but whatever. Yeah, we about to do an install. Um, yeah, so news come out this morning that uh, Lyle Collins wants to stay at right tackle. That was a no-brainer. You guys know I nicknamed him IHOP because he be pancaking people. I liked him when he was at guard, but he said he wants to focus on right tackle. So we'll see what happens. You already know that Jason Garrett wants everybody to basically he wants to he wants to have a competition at that position. He wants to have a competition throughout this team, which I'm cool with that, you know, because it, it makes these guys stay on their heels. Nobody's comfortable. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, we have to make sure that we have the best people on the field. Now, we want the best five offensive linemen on the field. And in this case, that will be the case. Now, Lyle Collins, I'm all for him staying at right tackle. He said himself that he's gotten he's gotten to be a better player just by you know going against these defensive um, defensive ends and defensive tackles every day. So, all praise to that. Now, I hope that he gets it. Now, now that we got Cameron Fleming from the Patriots, that's going to be competition there. We'll see who gets that starting spot. So that's all contingent upon who plays the best in uh, training camp and then we got we got uh, Marcus Martin from the uh, 49ers now I was thinking that now that, that that's the case hopefully in the first round we can go ahead and get Will Hernandez UTEP guard to solidify this line and hopefully he can be that starting guy now if we, we if we go with that or defensive tackle I'm cool either way but if we get Will Hernandez right there I'm telling you right now, Zeke is going to have so many holes. I mean, it's going to be like him running through. <laughs> he's going to be he's going to just be running for space all day long, just like in that Pittsburgh game. So, again, I'm excited about it. I'm excited for training camp. I'm excited for this draft. Um, we're about two weeks away from the draft for our road trip. It's going to be exciting. I cannot wait for it. So, yeah. Um, one more thing that I want to talk about now. I'm so sick of this whole Des Bryant thing. I want to lay this thing to rest. Only thing I want to say about it is basically, I just feel like the team is doing him a disservice. If you don't plan on having Des Bryant on this team anymore, why not have cut the contract or why not at least have a conversation with him? I see one of my subscribers say that he was being disrespectful or he didn't want to take a pay cut. Well, I don't see how that's possible if they haven't even spoken to him yet so it is what it is but whatever they did do with Des, I hope that they have some humility with it because I feel like this whole everything that's coming out they need to keep all this in-house they're airing their dirty laundry out in the public you got you got that uh I know you guys heard about that um that anonymous staffer whoever that was that was basically saying that Des is not what he used to be, he's getting old, this and that, blah, 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 you know, but you're being anonymous, you're not saying who you are, but that's unprofessional to me. I feel like that all this stuff needs to be handled in-house. We didn't need to know all of this, to be honest with you. This is stuff that they could have been doing with him behind the scenes. Only thing that we need to know is whether he's staying or going. Now, I just think it's really sloppy and it's, it's, it's really, it's really kind of disrespectful in a lot of ways so I just hope that they, that they do him right either way if they're going to get rid of him okay well let him get a chance to go to another team to be great you know what I mean or you know somebody that's going to use him better than we did um if they plan on keeping him they should have had this conversation a long time ago like hey Des um along the lines of hey Des we plan on keeping you in the fold but we want to give you we want, to, we want to lower your base. We want to get you a pay cut. We want to give you some incentives. We want to do it the right way. You got to treat your players right. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, he's done some things for the team. It's not like it's not like he's been a terrible player his whole career. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, I'm done with it. I'm not gonna talk about Dez anymore. I just I just I just hope that they do right by him. That's all. That's all I'm saying. But uh, that's all I got for you right now. 
on our way to this job in Reston, Virginia. Hope you guys have a great Monday. Oh yeah, thank, thanks to all my subscribers. I appreciate y'all and all the support that y'all give me. And uh, speak to y'all later. Have a good day.